Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us here at the Motivating Force. As always, we have Josue, an aspiring Marine Corps officer who is finishing up ROTC and his bachelor's in the criminal justice field, and myself, Justin, a motivational speaker who's always more than excited to share all of our wonderful ideas and topics with you guys. Uh, if you guys missed last Wednesday's episode, it's because you didn't. We did, so don't worry about that. But if you were scrambling around trying to find out where it was, um, now would be a good time to let you guys know that we do have our podcast on Anchor, which means you're going to find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, anywhere you listen to your favorite podcasts. We upload there every Monday and Wednesday at 8 a.m. EST. Aside from that, we do have our social medias over on Facebook and Instagram. All those links are down below. Feel free to check those out. Send us a message. Show us some love. Getting back into our regularly scheduled program here, we do have another self-value we're going to be talking about this wonderful Monday morning, and that's going to be on integrity. But we're going to take a little spin on it that I'm sure many of you guys have not heard this connection of integrity with things like mentorship and um, you know, accountability partners, things like that. So hopefully I'll have some new insightful information that helps tie some of these values together for you and, and really make you think outside the box. Well, first and foremost, thinking of integrity as like mentorship or, or accountability partners, it's really taking away the, like it falling on you when you're thinking of having an accountability partner. So I can already see like, it's a little off branch of the topic of integrity that we're going to be talking about. I get a lot of these ideas for the episodes just based off of, you know, what happens during the day because I'm constantly thinking about this, thinking about how people act, why they act the way they do sometimes. Um, being in Orlando, Florida, you get to see a lot of ridiculous things, yeah. you know, people doing some crazy stuff. I mean, I'm the same way. Like half the time when I watch other people, like because I like to people watch just to get a different perspective on things like why did they do that? So the same kind of boat. Um, it's almost like we're trying to find a way to make a topic for those people specifically. Right. Even though we know deep down those aren't the people listening. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> how can I kind of angle this topic to get across to that person? Because maybe there is somebody similar that is listening and maybe we can help get the point across to them. I guess more so with this episode, it's kind of the idea of like helping people understand why people will act the way they do sometimes, yeah. right? Because if you understand it, you get a little bit more, I guess, lenient with it, right? People don't piss you off as much when you're kind of just like, uh, you know, it's like when the seven-year-old does something stupid, you're just like, oh, he's seven. Yeah. But then when, you know, the 17-year-old does something stupid, you're like, okay, dude, you should know better by now, yeah. right? So anyways, um, getting into integrity, we know the traditional story where some integral strength can be put up for debate. And that's usually with like, you find $100 on the floor, what do you do, right? Nobody's around, nobody's looking, whatever. All of a sudden, you're now up $100 and the poor sap obviously doesn't miss it if he can drop $100, right? Yeah. And hey, if you didn't steal it, you didn't rob the dude, no harm, no foul, right? A lot of, a lot of questionable things going on there um, when it comes to integrity with that. So... Again, very rare cases where this type of stuff is put up for debate, but I feel like these types of examples that we are used to hearing are more so to give us a basic understanding of the concept. Yeah. And once you start diving deeper into integrity, we're going to get into some points today that are going to be kind of more of the root cause of how this type of intrinsic value is going to make you a better person, yeah. more structured, and more successful in your life. I, I also think that that example is like flawed when you think about it because there's so many different factors that have to go into play that really determines if your integrity is there or not. Because it's like if you're somewhere where you can ask people like, hey, did anybody lose money? You don't just say, hey, did anybody lose $100? Because then you'll get everybody there to raise their hand. Right. But then if you ask them like, hey, did anybody lose money? How much did you lose? Where did you lose it? When did you lose it? Like there's more that adds on to that. Or if you're somewhere that you can't ask anybody, then there's nobody to ask. And then it's flat out. Do you keep it or do you not? Yeah. It's like if you find $100 in the woods, did anybody hear it? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Something like that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, then it's yours. The woods just gave you some money. Right. Money did fall out of that tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but with these examples, it 
here's some of the questions. I actually wrote these down that, that it got me thinking because like we're saying how we kind of people watch from time to time, get these ideas. This is where it all came from, right? And the question was to myself, why are people afraid of others seeing what they're doing? Whether you're doing something right or wrong, people don't like other people just watching. Yeah. So fear of judgment. Yeah, you know, there's a couple different things. The way I thought about it was like, okay, well, for me, at, say at work, right? Because maybe this is a misunderstanding on my part. Because for me at work, when customers are hovering over me, I'm not anxious about the fact that I'm about ready to beat their car with a hammer and yeah. they're going to witness that, <laughs> right? I'm more anxious that they're going to be a fool and do something dumb and we're both going to get hurt because yeah. they don't know anything about cars, right? That's why they're at the mechanic shop to begin with. Right. Yeah. And then they want to stand over your shoulder. So then there's like, okay, well, that's why I'd be afraid of other people seeing what I'm doing because don't stand over me when I'm working on your car if you don't know what you're looking at, right? This whole thing kind of sprouted from, from work where miraculously at our shop, I had five solid minutes to stare off into the distance. That actually does sound like a miracle. It, it really <laughs> is. For how busy our shop is, yeah. yeah. And I bet those five minutes felt like a lifetime. It did. Yeah. It was a great break. <laughs> um, but, you know, I was just staring off into the distance, looking into the parking lot, and we're kind of attached with like a, like a plaza area, so there's a gas station in front of us. And I see somebody pull up to the gas station and throw their Chick-fil-A bag out the window. Yeah. Right? Mind you, there's a garbage can at arm's reach from wherever that bag probably landed. Right. Oh, yeah. There's no way in hell that I'm defending this person yeah. in this, but this is what happened, right? So they, they throw the Chick-fil-A bag out the window, and then they look up, and they see me standing in the shop just like staring right mm -hmm. granted i don't i don't know if they even thought i was staring at them because i had just this dead expression on my face but nevertheless they saw that i saw them do that so you could tell they reluctantly got out they picked it up and they drove off so i'm kind of just like oh that's interesting because i mean i don't give a damn really right mm -hmm. if they throw their trash out the window i'm gonna sit here and be like oh well that guy's a piece of crap yeah. but that's it because i mean what am i gonna do about it i'm not the trash police you know, I'm not going to go yell at this person. I'm not going to go. You can't give them a ticket. You can't beat them for anything. You know? Yeah. You know, so it's kind of just like, oh, well, that sucks. You know, there goes a little bit of faith in humanity. And then I move on with my day. Right. But because I saw him do it, he decided to correct that action. And throw it on the floor somewhere else after he picked it up. All that being said, it, it, it this is where that comes around full circle. Okay. He was being lazy right In fact yeah mind everything else going on right he's being lazy somebody caught him being lazy and now he's upset about it yeah now he has to work twice now he has to correct it exactly so then i think about how that applies to every single one of us because obviously if you're here listening to the show i hopefully can almost promise everybody else that you're not the type of person who's just throwing bags of trash out of your window right so how does that apply to you well Think about the times that you're being lazy and somebody has to come along and call you out on it. It kind of upsets you, right? Even if you know you're wrong or, you know, you just wanted a break, maybe it's innocent, right? Nobody's getting hurt in the situation, but it kind of upsets you a little bit. Well, that's what I said. Like, now you have to work double. So your act of trying to cut that work in half by being lazy and, like you said, let's just say the same example. You threw the bag out the door. And then you're like, okay, that's it. I didn't want to get out of the car. And then now you see that somebody caught you. And now you're like, damn it. Now I have to get out of the car, pick it up, and not even get rid of the bag. And I have to keep it now. Right. Now I'm at. With that laziness, it makes me think of why people can be afraid to get help personally. Now, whether that comes from accountability partners or mentors, you know, paid, free, otherwise, whatever the situation, people are kind of have this aversion towards that. And I feel that that's where your integrity can come into play with that. People don't want somebody analyzing every aspect of their life. Right. And the question is, well, what would they find? What would they ridicule? Those things you're being lazy on, you know, if, if you're letting yourself down and nobody has to know, it's not really a big deal. Because, I mean, we're kind of used to that. We're used to doing that. Let's be honest, right? But at the same time, when we're being lazy and we're letting other people down that just sucks i mean but the thing is is when you're setting up like this 
uh, mentorship or this accountability partner with somebody, you've already predetermined these like rules and boundaries, let's say, on what it is that they're going to be helping you achieve. And subconsciously, you want to get rid of those flaws, which are all the little things you're being lazy on. So then subconsciously, you're telling them like, listen, I want to get rid of all this. I'm just afraid that you're going to see how much of it there is. Right. It, but it's just like a step that you have to get past. And then once you're open with them and I mean, hopefully they don't judge you because if they're doing it professionally, if they're just doing it to help you out because they care about you, they won't judge you. You know, they're there to help you. It's almost paradoxical in that sense, right? Because you want them to help you eliminate all that garbage in your life. And then at the same time, you when they start it. doing it, yeah. you're just like, well, okay, I guess. I yeah. guess I'll get rid of it. And it's like, no, you're the one that told me to, right? Yeah. When I think back on that, it's kind of like when my wife was keeping me accountable for going to the gym. My least favorite part about having an accountability partner for the gym is them holding me accountable. Yeah, of course. Because you know? then you have to go. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's like when you're going and say I had a solid week, everything was great. Say I hit, you know, a PR, I, I, I ran my fastest mile, something like that. And I get to come home and be like, look what I did. And she's like, great, you're keeping up with it. Everything's good. And then, you know, when your accountability partner is kind of acting as like your cheerleader, you love it. Right. But then as soon as it goes the other way and they have to kind put of, you know, your put place. your feet to the fire and yeah. put, put you in your place, you know, it's like it sucks twice as much yeah you're like damn it just give me a break you're like no you you set these boundaries you set these goals for yourself i'm gonna make you accountable for doing them and achieving them exactly yeah. and i think a lot of that comes from that almost like a weakness in your integrity, integrity yeah right and, and it's not a flaw to need somebody else there to help you right in a way it's kind of like understanding how human nature works and knowing that if you want to make the best progress possible in life, you're going to need people there to keep you from falling down. Yeah. And it's almost like this is the difference between integrity and discipline when it comes to like going to the gym with an accountability partner, right? Discipline is once you've already set that routine and it's like on you for not breaking that routine, but the integrity with the accountability partner, it's like, it's, it's the steps before you've achieved that level of discipline. So it's like you're working towards having the discipline to go and have that routine for yourself and not breaking it. But when you're struggling to go and then somebody else is there to help build you up and get you to go out the house, that's when the integrity steps in. And it's like, okay, yeah, I really have to do it because I don't want to let them down as, as well as not let yourself down at the same time. I definitely see that because like with discipline, you can't have somebody else necessarily like be your discipline yeah discipline is 100 percent like on you yeah you have to own it you have to build it you have to work on it all the time but with that integrity when you have a mentor or you have those accountability partners they can act as your integrity yeah in the same sense where you know you kind of feel like it'll defeat the purpose because with integrity it's like well it's what you're doing when nobody's watching but then it's like, okay, well, if you let one person into your little secret life, nobody's watching, and it's just you and that other person. And that other person gets to call you out on your BS sometimes. Yeah, it's like a second subconscious or something. Right. Yeah. So it's still keeping your integrity intact because it's not like you're being open to the world about it, but you're letting that one person in. So you're still not harming others when you're failing behind on these things you're doing. And it's still happening behind closed doors. It's just you have one other person there with you to kind of be like, well, come on, yeah. let's pick this up. It's almost like your uh, subconscious has uh, like ADD and always gets distracted and wants to be lazy. And then letting that one person in is there to like help it like stay in track. Right. So you can still think of it as you're not letting yourself down because they're just helping you not get distracted by all these other things. When it comes to like that human nature aspect of it and why it's going to be great to have that person behind those closed doors with you, at least the rarest of occasions, if you're going to pretend like you're this alpha perfect person, right? You're going to quietly pick the ability to be lazy over picking your own success or your own growth at least once, right? Yeah. For the people who will be the deniers, <laughs> at least once. Well, no, everybody's going to want a break. Yeah. I mean, especially if you're somebody who is building yourself up to be, like you said, an alpha or 
just some leader of some kind you're always building yourself up and like the successes the goals you're hitting you're always going up and up and up and eventually you're going to want to give yourself some some kind of break whether that be a week off from the gym a couple days off from the gym whatever or a couple days off from your routine of uh, your diet right and then if you lack the discipline of being able to jump back into it then having some sort of accountability partner would help extremely and in the sense of like getting you back to where you were because it's human nature like it's not a bad thing to want a break but it's getting back into the things that you were doing before the break my advice for you guys today this wonderful monday seek out those close friends family seek out that mentorship and go with some softer forms of it you know work off with those accountability partners first you know start on that smaller scale but work with those people to keep track of each other. Call each other out when necessary. And whether it's for help with something or if it's for that correction that you're going to need, they're going to help you build that integrity. You're going to start making those right decisions for yourself even when the lazier path is still an option. And then my last example for everybody, it's not necessarily on the laziness train of the accountability partner, but for example, us here at the Motivating Force uh, podcast studio, uh, we had some rough patches in our lives the past couple weeks. Um, don't really want to get too deep into it, but we had some bad times, let's just say. Well, you listened to last Monday's episode, yeah. and it, you understand. Yeah, well, that's what I'm getting to. Like The fact that we had backed up episodes, but then we kind of got through them to catch up with the things we were dealing with. And I was still able to count on Justin being able to step up and at least give you guys one um, episode throughout the week last week so then we wouldn't just kind of leave you guys high and dry. So for that, thank you, Justin, for stepping in. Uh, It really did help out a lot with the things that I was going through. Uh, But, you know, I'm back full force. We're coming back with the motivation that we told you the week before. And for that, Wednesday coming right around the corner don't forget to check us out like he said at the beginning on anchor spotify uh, breaker apple podcast all of our new episodes mondays and wednesdays at 8 a.m est also remember to check us out on facebook and instagram the links are down in the description below and until this wednesday where you guys will definitely have an episode (laughs) go on and get